Oh, here we go. Garcia, he's in the blue singlet. Ramadoff in the red. 145.5 or 66 kilograms. Had some great action. We saw our first uh, ever win with the Jordan Oliver, and then we saw our first tech fall a moment ago with Opon Sat. So, what does uh, bout number three have in store for us, Richard? Well, I don't think we'll be seeing our first passivity because Garcia is a very active wrestler. Comes at you hard. Yeah, Garcia might be the old man here today at 30 years old. Still going, though. A two-time Olympian, as we told you. I tell you, he's training down at the OTC quite a bit. I've seen him in the room quite a bit. Trained with our guys. So he's, he's definitely putting in the time. Bronze at the Pan Am Games recently, too, for Garcia. So we're close to a minute down, still scoreless. One more minute of this, we'll head into that. Well, there you go. There could be something we haven't seen. Our first two minutes of no scoring. So, yeah, I knew you were a smart guy. Well, don't tell anyone. <laughs> yeah, so again, to recap that rule, I don't want to jinx these guys, but in another 40 seconds, if there's no scoring, the official will determine which wrestler has uh, competed the least or has been more passive. Well, that might be a move point. Nice leg defense. And then that wrestler gets a caution. And then he has to score in 30 seconds or he loses a point. So. We can see some fireworks. There. Either way, we're going to see some fireworks. I don't think either one of these guys want to chance it. You know, Garcia has the only shot of the match. So you got to lean his way a little bit. So Ramonov staying in there strong. Here's his attack. Nice uh, reshot there. I always love to see when you moves you show kids, you know, your youth wrestlers, that they do it at the Olympic level. It reinforces your... And what the stuff you're showing works. Yeah, just nothing fancy about that. You shot, the guy sprawls, you come back in and a reshot. It was great stuff there. And here we have our first shot clock. We have passivity on red. So, Romanoff will have to score in 30 seconds. Or uh, Garcia will get a point. And I don't think either rest. So again, there's not a shot clock for this, per se. It's the official off match doing it. So this is one of the rules that will certainly get tweaked. They'll fix this, you know, whether there's another clock on the mat or a, another separate clock. Uh, right there, that's going to be a point for Garcia. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting to see. So there you go. Yeah, another first, Richard. You got it here with the first uh, shot clock violation, as it were. I don't know if that's been patented yet, but I feel I won't even take uh, copyrights for it, if not. Shot clock violation if you don't you. score. All right, I'll take it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. we got a headlock attempt here. Close to the edge. Garcia going to circle around. Yeah, and I think that, his hand might have been out yeah, there. I think his hand's out. I, okay. One of those judgment calls there. I, certainly you could say the wizard put Garcia out, but, I mean, that's just good hard wrestling, too. I mean, if either calls there is bad. one nothing. 10 seconds to go. But again, one nothing in a six-minute cumulative match is really not that big a deal. I mean, obviously you always want to say, too. yeah. I mean, a t one takedown and the match is changing. So, as it is, Garcia takes a one nothing lead into period number two on the. Uh, I guess we're calling it the shot clock violation, Richard, with shot no scoring. Clock violation. I like it. <laughs> Some of the other, if you're just uh, logging in with us, glad you're with us here from LA. Some of the other new rules. Again, this is the first event internationally challenged under new or competed under new the new field of rules. Cumulative score, so no more periods other than the 30 second break between the two periods. Two point takedowns, the big ones, 10 point tech fall. And we've seen all of those already here uh, in this great event. We've got some big matches. Jordan Burroughs. Coming up, the Olympic champ battle of the top two ranked wrestlers in the world at that weight class. Rematch from the, the Rumble on the Rails. That was a three period match. Burroughs actually gave up a period to the Russian. He did. He gave up a period. First period, 1 yep. 1. He so, will come uh, back. Have... Burroughs should get a test here today. And of course, Coleman Scott and Opon Sat, two of the top three wrestlers on the, in the world. Back to Garcia and Romanoff.
Nice Ramanoff. shot there by Romanoff. Just a, speaking of Jordan Burroughs, it's a good old fashioned Burroughs blast double there. Gets a one point to tie it up. That's one difference I did want to point out. You have the one for the push out. You see a lot of guys when they get a single leg like that, they just run straight out of bounds with the push out. But now you're going to see guys maybe try and stay in the center and get the two for the yep, takedown. Ex absolutely. Just for the push out. Certainly, I mean, nothing of the rules that they've changed is, is going to limit the action in the sport of wrestling. I think that was the general consensus is that the rules were confusing, it didn't promote action, and, I mean, certainly uh, you, you can't make any argument to the contrary of what, what, what the wrestling community has put out with these new rules. I definitely think it's going to be in a, a drastic improvement for us. I mean, Opon, what did he score? Ten points in about four minutes in that match we just saw a moment ago. That's getting it done. Well, here we're seeing a tight, close match, and it's still exciting, still going yep. forward. And again, we may go to the uh, the passivity if, uh, if we don't get any points. Well, I guess we did have the push out. There's front headlock here by, oh, Garcia could be in some trouble. Uh, they call it three and two. I don't think we got confirmation on the two, though. Yes, we did. Yeah, we so 4-3 now in favor of Garcia. Garcia with that front headlock from feet to back. It's three. And then a two-point takedown for Romanov. Good match. Here we go. 4-3, 122 to go. Garcia might be cramping up there. He's calling for some injury time. our trainer, Garcia. He's grabbing at his knee Yep, here. I think you're right. He's trying to stretch it out. Hey, up, up, up. No blue. And the, uh, the Russian coach is not too happy with the break, but... Well, I gotta say, I don't want to jinx him, but through three matches, I think everyone's doing pretty well with this. I mean, this is literally came down at the 11th hour, these rules. Uh, I mean, this is, you're basically changing the philosophy of the sport. I'd say the wrestlers, the coaches, the officials have all done a pretty good job. I mean, you know, the Russians got here, what, Friday night? They didn't know about the rule changes. Exactly. Until I told them, yep. you know? We were at the having dinner at the hotel and they found out. <laughs> well, here we go, four, three, 120 to go. Garcia from Canada. Your leader hit that big three-point front headlock a moment ago. There's Garcia with the shot. We're just under a minute now. See the hand fighting, and we're going to get a caution for that. We're having a tension blue. Pulling the singlet, maybe. Was that, yeah, we saw that caution before. I think you're right. He was pulling on the singlet. Good call. So, uh, tension to blue there for Garcia. Romanoff, that was a nice duck. Just had that right arm trapped up top. Unable to get through that arm, but he was in there. Well, you see the Russians. I mean, you call it the Russian arm chair. They're so good on that position, you know, on the side position. But here's Garcia. Oh, he puts the boots in. Still no points. Look at the leg strength here of Romanov. Can he stand up? Oh, he cannot. There's a two-point takedown. And you saw his elbow hit down. I believe yep. three points of pressure down on the mat. Absolutely. Feet, hands, elbows, knees, well, that head. Was, he's probably happy that's not a college match because that was going from bad to worse for <laughs> Romanov. <laughs> they don't have riding time in freestyle. They'll put you back on your feet. If not, he was in a bad spot with the, both legs in and a power half. One thing I have noticed, the ref was brought the wrestlers back to their feet pretty quick, yep. keeping the action and pace of the match going as well, which is also, you know, important for the, the fans anyway. Now a big win here for Hoslin Garcia. Yeah, 6-3. Impressive for the Canadian, knocking off one of the top uh, wrestlers from Russia here. 6-3, to three, the big move, Richard, the front headlock. Front headlock. Got the three-point move, and that was the difference. 